Brian, I have a confession. <laughs> I love using gear, I love collecting camp gear, I'm just not the best at taking care of it. I uh, just noticed on my last winter trip, and probably my fall trip was the problem, my axes got a little uh, rusty because I, I, well, I left them a little damp in the basement after my trip, I think, I don't know, they're really rusty. So I went online to see how to clean them, and there's way too many ways to clean an axe. So I thought I'd try a bunch of them and experiment. Baking soda supposedly works. Uh, I've used baking soda for brushing my teeth, I think, on trips. Vinegar is supposed to be really good as well. Vinegar actually cleans everything. I've used vinegar for a lot of things. Um, this here is a product to remove rust. It's CLR. Uh, I use this to clean my sinks and stuff like that. But anyway, we're gonna try that. WD-40, I've used this to clean some rust off my tools and stuff, done that before. But I also looked online that if you use WD-40 and then scrub it with uh, tin foil, it's supposed to be really good. It creates a chemical reaction. I don't know anything about that. I did terrible in, in chemistry. In fact, actually, I don't even think I took chemistry in high school. I think I skipped that class. Anyway, I also have Coca-Cola. I've heard all about Coke uh, dissolving rust, and uh, I'm gonna see if that works. It's been in the fridge for a while. There's Santa Claus. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, the end of January, so I don't drink Coke that much. Probably because it removes rust. <laughs> the other, I didn't know this at all, but a potato. You're supposed to sli slice a potato, and put salt on it or baking soda and you rub it on the rust and it removes it because there's supposed to be some acid in the potato but then online it, there's a debate saying there, it, there isn't I don't know we'll see if it works oh yeah and, and to clean them I'm gonna use a scrubby steel wool is supposed to be okay um, got this at the dollar store but supposedly copper is better because it doesn't leave as many scratches I'm gonna try the tin foil too these are the axes that I use Here's, here's the one thing, I might not take care of my gear, but I use them a lot. Maybe that's why my gear is all rusty or whatever. But anyway, here's the, the one main axe I use for winter camping. It's a mall. Uh, Gansford axes are phenomenal, I love these things. And uh, boy, it really does need work. I'm going to clean up the rust, and I'm also going to take care of the handle here. I, I haven't put any linseed oil on this uh, for a long time. Would never go winter camping without this, it's been fantastic. The other one is a for Gansford Forest Axe. This is a really more lightweight axe. This was given to me by Ray Mears when I worked with him on a film for BBC. And if he knows that it's in this bad of shape, he would fly from the UK over to Canada and slice me up with this, I think. Let's just try, let's just try a piece of tin foil. And a BD-40. Ooh, that stinks. Ooh, Boy, that works. That, that really works. This uh, works. Man, this really works. WD-40 and tin foil. All right, so I'm gonna try the Coca-Cola in this here. All right, let's do the forest axe in there. And then I'm gonna try the mall in CLR. Put that in there. <laughs> for safety reasons, use gloves for the CLR, also for the Coca-Cola. <laughs> I'm going to dilute that with some water. So I'm going to put the mall in here. I should let it soak for at least half a day um, overnight. The longer the better, I guess. Well, you know what? I can't soak it over all night. What have I done? I'm in the kitchen. My wife's at work. She doesn't know what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to have to just soak this for a few hours because if she comes home and sees this, <laughs> I'm a dead man. <laughs> I didn't know this was so much fun. I would have cleaned my tools long ago if I knew it was going to be this much fun. I wonder if the Coke is still good to drink after. Probably not. Okay, so um, I've actually uh, let these soak for just three hours. Not that long. Uh, but that's all I took time for. Because I, like I said, I didn't tell my wife I was doing this in the kitchen today. And I, I gotta get it done before she gets home. First soaking uh, was soaked in... Uh, uh, CLR with a bit of water. Okay, well the scrub pad here is doing okay, but it's not perfect. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use, instead of using steel wool, I'm going to use uh, copper, I guess. They say that it's, it's better because um, it doesn't 
scratch as much. Cool. Yeah, that's working a lot better. So that's working. It's not perfect though. I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the tin foil. Wow, look at that. The tin foil works a lot better. Huh. Okay, well, it's working. So that's the CLR. Let's see if it uh, makes a difference with um, the Coca-Cola. Let's just try the scrub pad first. Yeah, it's not the best. Try this. Let's try the tin foil. Oh, that makes a huge difference. I'm getting there. It's going to take a while to clean this up. I'll uh, do a bunch of work on it here and then let you have a look later. But what one's better? Uh, I don't know. The CLR and the Coke did the same thing. I don't know if there's any difference. But what made a huge difference is, is rubbing it with tin foil. I mean, I, I, these aren't the great pads. They're at the dollar from the dollar store. But um, boy, that's amazing. All right. So what one? Well, look at this. Pretty cool. It's not done perfectly yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, it was the the WD-40 and the tin foil. Uh, actually, all the other chemicals worked. Chemicals, whatever. All the other products that worked worked. The Coca-Cola, the CLR, the uh, potato uh, even kind of worked. But putting whatever that solvent on using the tin foil worked the best, getting rid of the rust. Who knew? All right, what I'm going to do next is going to put some uh, finish on the wood. Uh, you can use linseed oil. Linseed oil is my favorite, except I can't find it in the, in, in the basement. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use uh, what I put on my paddles. Uh, this is from Badger Paddles. Uh, it probably is a, sort of the same thing. I don't know. We'll find out. The one thing about putting something on your axe, though, even your paddles, I find too, or the grip of the paddles, can't put too much oil on or whatever this substance is on because you'll get blisters. So um, just put a really thin coat on and let it dry. And don't even bother doing second coats, whatever. I gotta hurry up, my wife's gonna be home soon. Hurry. Right. <laughs> Couldn't find some old rags, so I'm gonna use this. I heard did this all over the sink. Oh boy. Now the one thing about about uh, any solvents like this, especially linseed oil, it's combustible. If you put it in the uh, garbage and let it sit for a while, in theory it could combust and start a fire. So don't do that. Alright, so it looks pretty good. It's starting to look really good. I know some people have put a uh, gun, what's it called, gun, something on the on the, the metal of, of the axe, uh, gun, what's it called, what's it called, gun something, gun oil, I think people have put on the, the uh, metal of the axe once they fin finish it all up, I don't have gun oil, so I'm going to just put some uh, vegetable oil or, or olive oil on just to, to make sure it doesn't rust as quickly next time, that's all it really does. I, I, I think I've, I've figured it out. Not only is taking care of your tools a good thing for your tools and making sure that they're good in good working order and they look good when you're out on a trip, but um, it's very meditative, very relaxing. I just find it really kind of neat to do this for the day. Mm. What did you do today, honey? When she comes home from work, uh, she'll tell me all about her bad day and <laughs> I did this. You know what? Though she can't have, can't find out that I did this because I'm not supposed to do any of this stuff in the kitchen. So I gotta clean this all up. Don't tell her that I actually did this in the kitchen. All right, thanks for coming out. Hey, what happened in my kitchen? Yeah, what happened to the kitchen? Nothing.